Welcome to the Bible. Welcome to the Gaza Pod as we get set to bring you the first match up here in the 2015 edition of the Caribbean, Caribbean Single Wicket Tournament. And uh, first of all, let me introduce a new voice to Axe 25. You will be hearing him a lot during our football and cricket commentary. Uh, I, I always get the first name wrong. Um, is it Marie? Very close. Mariri. Mariri Gonzalez. Louis Gonzalez. Louis Gonzalez. And uh, welcome to Action Weekend. It's a pleasure sharing this commentary with you here this afternoon. Thank you very much, George, and uh, for the company for having me on board, Axe TV. I'm very privileged and grateful for this significant opportunity. Well, as I said, this is the, first, uh, the fourth edition, and um, the, this is the first game here, and already. Um, that's Imran Khan, and he has opened his scoring with a four. And as we go along, uh, we will try to um, indulge the viewers into the rules of this cricket because it is somewhat new to a lot of people. So um, I hand the commentary over to you. And. Uh, he is bowled there by Andrew Fletcher. And for the viewing public in this form of cricket, you have three outs. That's correct. Right. You've got the out three times, but the third time you have to walk. So uh, he has four runs and he has already lost a life. That's correct. And I think that is very important in the game because it gives the, the batsman an opportunity to be able to make choices with his three options that he has before and before eventually concluded with an out, final. At this point in time, it's still, still, Andre Fletcher in wicket, in this, the single wicket competition right here at the Goragara Park in Point of Pier, San Fernando. Very beautiful afternoon it is, brilliant weather. Just about 10 minutes leading up to the 5 p.m. hour. And a shot taken by Andre straight down to the long off and the fielded by number seven who would be at this time Al Small Andre Fletcher is all in his blue and white, while Imran Khan is red, white, and black. And that's uh, extra run there. That's a wide ball there down there. So it appears that for every wide, two runs will be given. Yes. And the ball will have to be bowled over, making it even easier for the batsman and more difficult for the bowler. Place the ball coming off of the long off, long on is uh, player number three, and in this case it That's is Brent Harriet. Brent Harriet. A big swing it was there by Imran Khan and Andre Fletcher down his knees, appealing to the umpire. In this case, umpire Kemraj Barasinga, but. To no avail was he given the thumbs up by the umpire, so he bowls again. He appeals again this time, and uh, it's field by the number 11 player in the slips, second slips. Well, just the premier venues over, just the, over the years. Mentioning earlier on how beautiful even the pitch looks yes, itself. Yes, it's marvelous. Uh, this time of year. See that type of upkeep? And a beautiful shot straight along the ground. And he's able to... Oh no, a mix up there between Imran Khan and his runner. So he has been run out. And that brings us to the third time within the over from Andre Fletcher that Imran Khan has been now used up all his opportunity to continue batting. And he was able to score a total of 
14 runs in this the single wicket cricket competition right here at the Garagar Park. Point up here, really a magnificent day, Chandler, as we said, and really look forward to see if uh, Lyndall Simmons uh, can retain his crown for this 2015 competition. But he's not inside not of the here, competition no. yet. Lyndall isn't going to be defending his crown so, this year. Some of the big name. It's so unfortunate Pollard, Pollard because missing out as well. Forty thousand dollars. Need Wayne Smith going to the winner. Took part in last year's tournament as well, and yeah. he isn't there this year. Experienced young men. So let's see what Imran Khan will do in his first time up against Andrew Fletcher here. And I believe he run even as the player attempts to score runs, he also has to have a good understanding with the other person who is working along with him on the wicket. Fletcher driving here through recovers, extra cover region. It'll be a chase. He should get two. That's actually going to go all the way for four. So two men outside the circle on the onside. Three restrictions state that no more than five men are allowed outside the circle. The man coming over from cover, not being able to catch out of the extra cover bounce. That's four for Fletcher. His first bounce in the third delivery of the over from Imran Khan. Fletcher using the feet here, looking for a quick single. This could be interesting as Khan feels on his own, but it's going to be a single nonetheless. So that's six after four deliveries. Fletcher smart batting there. I believe because of the surface here at the boundary, uh, because of the slope that we have, it's going to be quite interesting when the ball reaches almost three quarter along the lane area. It's going to really move quickly towards the boundary line so the fielders will have to take that into cognizant in their respective fielding positions. Yes, yeah, total bad design of the Akara Park. It's a very, very fast outfield. Such a believing, needing just four more round, runs for victory. Imran Khan needs a wicket, but that's not going to uh, happen. And it's going to be six more. And Fletcher walks one. off in style. <laughs> as he is victor with just five deliveries going in the first over. I think that's a pretty dominating performance, Louis. Yes, quite so. Actually, this one end up on top of the rooftop of the Petrotrin Sports Club. The first six for today and what a quite... A hefty and a big, magnificent one it was. Good to see National Senior Team. Wicket keeper, of course, when Dinesh Ramdin isn't in the outfit. Stephen Kitwaru. Standing behind the stump, so a lot of experience there, a former bar four player. Richard Kelly is no slot to the powers. Emery is coming on, right arm wrong from the refinery end. It's a bit short, as I said, he's not going to be giving him anything to drive that you wouldn't expect as Kelly Dickens of course there and is easily held on to by Stephen Gitwaru. Gitwaru not standing very far back, so it doesn't seem like Emmerich is really going to be charging in here and looking the ball very hard. Both third man and fine leg are in the power play circle. Again, looking short, pulling down to the man at long on, looking for the second, and it's going to be gotten easily. Good running there by Kelly. Smart and, uh, running between the wickets. Rianzo Trotman is his runner. Something you have to make mention of, Louis, is the runners. They can tend to get tired after all this running. Well, I, I would hope that uh, during the competition itself that they would be changing the Runners between the wickets. And either that's a that's wide from them. Oh, that's almost oh. taking off the head of the non-striker. Good job to stop it. Good effort in the outfield. There's always going to be two there. 
I believe something like that here, and that's why cricket, you need to be very alert. Alert is right. Uh, the runner actually will come in directly to him and he ducked just in time to get out of the way of the shot. That's why some may say that even if you're facing a spin bowler, always wear a helmet because even a spin bowler may not be threatening you with a bouncer. Yes. You're opposing your, your teammates at the crease, maybe as Red Emmett comes in again. Oh. Reverse slug there. And how was that considered a wide? He changed. That should not have been called a wide, and Emmerich is, is pleading with the umpire, he's upset. That should not have been called a wide as he changed his stance, went for the switch it. At this point in time, Aaron Kemraj Barasinga is articulating and demonstrating to Emmerich, in particular, of the decision that he has made, but it's quite an interesting one. Emmerich letting his displeasure with that decision show as well. Come in and move that one over. Again, it's not necessarily what you call a full length. If you can manage two runs of war, 12 runs and over, and not lose any wickets, 24 isn't necessarily a bad score. Some big boundaries here at the Barakara Park. And I believe it's so important in order to ensure that you continue batting without being given out at any given time because you're in a better position as you score more runs in this single wicket competition. Very intriguing. A miss hook here and uh, coming off the long off point there and choose the ball straight of course so the keeper there at power. We're coming in one more time for this over. Kelly doing a bit of a shuffle and hitting the top of middle there, top of off actually, breaking the stump, and that's exactly where Emmerich will be aiming. He's not going to be looking to get hit the bottom of, of the stumps, but rather the top, just short of a good length, or somebody say it's on a good length, a good length. Kelly swing and a missing complete there. So Kelly will be one wishing that there wasn't an extra ball left in that over as he <laughs> runs inducted. Yes, quite correct, Aaron. Otherwise, he would not have been bowled by Emirates in this the first over. But actually, things are a bit quiet here, passive. And as the evening goes by, I'm sure the tempo will, will increase. I kept uh, expecting a much larger crowd than we already have on yes. hand. See the amount of chairs left out on the last year for the single wicket tournament. There was a, a lot of range during the morning time, but it's held that you respect facility in St. Augustine, but here at Guarakara Park, venue more known for cricket throughout Trinidad and Tobago, many of the greatest throughout the Caribbean have played here. All right. Again, right arm wrong. This one is pushing up a bit and Kelly no doubt looking to slug across the line and oh. that could have been a collision, that could have been a mix-up, but instead it went to a four as Emirate immediately strengthening that side of the field. A smart decision as well by him. Given the fact that Kelly, as I said early, loves to slog sweep, he loves to go across the line, and he's going to be aiming in that power corner, that deep mid wicket position. And Aaron, what is quite interesting too is that the bowler who is responsible for setting the field will have to ensure that he addresses the batting strengths of the batman to make sure that he capitalizes on proper fielding to ensure that he minimizes as as much runs by the batsman. Let's see the plan of attack by Emirates. I'm interested to see if he's going to be going full outside or for he'll continue with his just short of a good length in line with the, with the stumps. Betting outside or on full. Actually, he's going yes, and Kelly's driving very well there. Player's going to be getting around to get onto that one, so it's going to be just two on, once again. That's Al Small, is it? Actually, he's wearing number seven, and he has Al Small. We have Al Small listed on the, on the list, but that's not Al Small. Al is actually shorter than that. He also plays for Tableland. And then again, this one, slow ball angling across the body of the batsman is going to be coming off 
Seems like it was in rib region. Just one there. A leg by. Emmett living dangerously here, bowling in what one may consider Richard Kelly's arc. But his worth of experience at a minimum over level, limited over level, sorry. That one is full, slicing there. The man already giving up at point because it's going to be racing away, not already racing away, but trickling away over the boundary for four more. Emmerich coming in again right time around the wicket. Kelly will be looking to get a boundary here. Emmerich full and can't cut Waru not being able to hold onto that one. A young man from DBA that's going to be buys. What that happens is yet is on a such struck straight to James on the bubble. He'll be looking to come back for the second and just that, so not a very good job in the field there by James as he got a good bounce, he bounced straight into his, uh, his hands, but then being able to hold on to it. Richard Kelly eventually getting over 22 runs in his two overs. The non striker this time with Emirate, just from the looks from here, looks to be Al Small. Yes, indeed, that's Al Small. He's wearing the number 10 jersey that is. Named to Rambaran, but it's actually a small running with Emmerich this time. You know, be mindful of the fact that he's had, he has six men outside the power play, so he's not looking around. And he's pointing the man at a deep mid wicket position. And the man at the backward square. So, regular mid wicket. And a long on, long off. Deep extra cover and a third man. It's Kelly coming in to Emmerich. Emmerich getting one off his legs, whipping it away onto the man at deep back of square. That's just one. That's Emmerich swinging and missing there. Starting a refinery end with the breeze blowing from right to left of your screen. A right hander likes the bat from this end. Because if he Gets one up in the air on the leg side, it can go, can travel a mighty way. We've seen Matsman in the ball into the tropical plaza car park. We've seen Paul did some mighty, mighty sixes here. All the way into the, the river end in the back of us. Skelly coming in again from the refinery and right arm over the wicket. Emmerich picking up with this one. He's going to be whipping it away wide of the man along on, and that's just going to be his first boundary. So that's Five on the board for Real Emirates. Five after three deliveries. Emirates getting a, a thin edge here, but the man, at, a third man, doing a good job. A short third man, doing a good job to stop that one. That's two more on the board for Emirates after four deliveries. He has seven runs. We're going to get a move on. Big first over will be really nice for him as he's striking this one. Trade back past the bowler. We're looking to get two. Can he get there? Yes. Al Small is turning quickly and is easy two in the end there for Emmerich. So that's nine after five deliveries. And he turning in, coming in again. Final delivery of his first over. And it's slapped away by Emmerich there. Will he get four? Yes, he will. That's a very good first over for Riyad Emmerich. That's 13 off of it. He's going to be rolling spin with a keeper back. Pitching up and as well struck straight back to the bowler, however. So, interesting decision. He has Kitwaru back and now Kitwaru is coming up. So, he didn't communicate with his keeper that he was going to be spinning it. And I was actually going to speak on that. Some bowlers may decide to bowl medium pace in one over and spin on another. So probably in a, probably an effort to, to throw the batsman off as he's seems to be a gentle off break. Emmerich, back for there, whipping this one into the vacant mid wicket position. It's going to be another easy two. It's smart batting by Emery. And I guess also smart running because his intention from the word go is that he had uh, really going for two runs rather than one, and therefore putting the fielder under pressure. But he's able to. So can you bring in the man the from the keeper's head? And yes. therefore, Emery getting a easily, easily getting a third run. Bringing the sweeper from the offside. 
Bringing the man from the backward square and also the long, long off in some mid-off position and trying to get his feet in tight to stop the single. Shoria and Amrit will still be looking for a single or probably going to go over the offside. Smart batting. Getting an easy one down to the man and long off. And that's an easy victory in the end for Riyad Emmerich. Coming away victorious, he had one ball to spare in this second matchup. So the first matchup being won by Andre Fletcher, five deliveries. Emmerich taking some 11 deliveries, chasing twice the amount of runs between Evan Lewis and Marlon Richards. Evan Lewis, known as a flashy opening batsman from Rio Claro. Marlon Richards, Pisa. So again, a matchup of, of different styles of players. Evan Lewis looking to bowl a little bit of a little gentle leg break here. You can gauge from in terms of international cricket because there's no international official single wicket competition. But in terms of the shortest format of the game, T20, as Evan is coming, that's actually some a gentle medium there, no leg break. Man, a short third man taking a, taking his time to pick that one. That's up. That's Cooper. But the bowlers in particular, barring Green Bravo, with a medium pace, these spin bowlers really did tremendously well. Indeed. That's when it's been high in the air. It should be caught. Richard just looking at it, looking at it, actually not caught. And it's out of here, straight onto the Petrochin Sports Club. And this is what happens, Louis, when you get the ball up in the air here. It's eight after two deliveries. Evan is coming in again here. I think he's pretty tight with that line now after going in for that six. He's just short of a length outside the off stump, not allowing Richards to really get under it and slugging over the long one region. Had some 16 wickets this year, but when you consider with his slower balls and his variations, as much as he's a medium pace bowler, it's his slower balls and variations that really gets him out of his wickets. And it's very same for Dwayne Bravo. So I think a, a mixture, a bit of mystery. And work well for even a spinner and as well as a pacer, well, a medium I, pacer. Correct, because I actually didn't realize that Kevin Cooper uses a lot of that too. And this one's going to be struck she well in our direction. It's going to be hitting the. One hundred. No, catch. just no, not, not not short much of it. One catch. <laughs> and a, a six to end, so that's twenty-four. That's twenty-four for Marlon Richards. So that's the highest score. We're seeing now Marlon Richards going to be facing up to Alan Evan Lewis. Marlon Richards coming from starting a refinery end. But he himself also taking a short run as compared. In comparison to Riyad Amrit who also did the same. Not seeing Stephen Kedwara standing very far as well. So I don't think he's going to be looking to get too much pace here. Marlon Richards, Evan Lewis, a batsman who likes the slash, likes the pace on the ball. And Richards coming in right arm over. Evan with a straight delivery there, good ball and struck straight to the man of cover. Getting a single on the left, so Evan immediately on the board. Evan driving here, driving well, and it's going to be going to the extra cover boundary. Four more to the man of the long off position, not being able to get around to that one. So that's four more for Evan Lewis, moves on to seven. In a boundary of a free hit there. Richard, as you can see, is intent. He's looking to go full on the wicket, probably just an off stump line. But anything short to Evan, so Evan pounce on some short deliveries in the CPL. Opening with Coptil, very good experience for him as Richards comes in again, just short, short on that one, as Evan chopping that one to the man of short. More of a semi middle position, and it's going to be one. We want to eat up the four deliveries as Evan Lewis. And it's after three balls. 12 and off of three. Needs boundaries. Two sixes, three fours. That's correct. And that's going to be the oh. second on a wide. Yes, that's a wide, Marlon Richards. But he's, he's doing the right thing. He's not giving up any, the opportunity to, to grow across the line there. It's very close, but a correct call it was by the umpire. Indeed. In Ten required case. off of three. A wide comes with two in the second move. One's going to go out into the ball. Mm -hmm. 
and they're not being able to get away with this one. It's going to be just one as if the feeler does well. Does just that, throwing it in, but good running there. So eight off of two. Louis, you said the batsman. No longer. No longer? Is it changing <laughs> your mind? <laughs> I don't think. Not at this point in time. The way... Let's see if Evan has it in him. Richard Eight off of two. Bowling. All three stumps yes. visible. He's going to be coming across a bit and swing and hit a mighty hit there. This is going to be going for <laughs> six runs. So are you going to change your mind again? No. <laughs> so you're still with the ball now. Yeah. Evan with a beautiful hit over the extra cover. What recovery. a beautiful oh. shot it was. And against the wind. The wind isn't blowing very hard, but it's a flat and just over the boundary. The boundary is not small here at the Garakar Park, so two runs of the last ball. All Richards had to do was get a single there, or a dot ball, and he would have been in good. Evan, it was one to tie, two to win. Slower ball, good slower ball, but this is going to be a good strike down to the man on the boundary. Make Let's it. see him getting in hard, getting in hard, and it's an easy two there, and losing of the final ball is Marlon Richards. So a very good job there for Evan Lewis. Despite losing a wicket when Marlon Richards didn't, a costly wide causing Marlon Richards that one there. So Evan Lewis winning his matchup against Marlon Richards. And leading the Red Steel to victory for the first time in the CPL 2015. Richards coming up to Bravo now, whipping him off his leg. That's four, that's six. What a whip for six. What a whip for six. <laughs> Was that really a six? It looks that so was, simple. It was a flat six. Well, the late overs. That one is up in the air. It's going to be a tough catch. Coming in, misjudging that initially, it's going to be a nice sky. And I know you're hearing the supporters. Bravo slashing over the offside. He's known for that. And it's going to be getting just one. Actually, coming back for the second and smart running there. No one backing up a wicket. <laughs> no one backing up at all, at all, at all. That's unfortunate to see. Oh, Bravo stepping outside. Innovation a bit. Oh, what a mighty hit. What a mighty hit out of here. Where that's outside of the tennis court. That's almost outside the... That's almost going all the way out of here. It's so far. Bravo slashing and again this one is going for four, four, six. six again. That's a um, six Bravo with a six parade. He is known for striking the ball well. He's so mindful of the wind. Already scored 30, 35, I believe. 36, yes. The four more balls are in. Bravo again another six. Over extra cover. That's six the, more. That's the danger. Saying, the, saying the members of the of the because he puts it on the on side and Bravo whips it away for another six. He recognizes how dangerous he is. Sending. As it was again, and Bravo striking it well. It's into the sky, but it's going to be caught, is it? Yes. Oh, it's quite an easy one. And yes. Yes. It's just smiling now, 50. I think actually he was looking to see if he could reach the 50. The two sixes, but no, unfortunately, it's not possible. Let's see what happens with the, the last and the final ball. A win coming into play there. And this is the final one. That's one that struck into the air. Harriet may be in play again for this one, as it's going to be actually four. Harriet not being able to come around and hold on to that one. So it's going to be 44 for three for Bravo. Wayne Bravo has put together 44. I think you're going to go with Marlon Richards this time. Louis? At 44? At 44, 45 to win. 45 over 12, that sounds pretty easy. Bravo only took 26 wickets, or 28 wickets rather. Based on his level of performance coming out of the CPL in particular. Definitely. Start, starting off with and surprise, then, surprise. And then scoring 44. Starting off as far with a slower ball, no surprise there. Another slower ball again. Bravo himself is also taking a short run. So now these now the quicker bowlers really looking to ramp up the, the pace here. I'm not sure if they have a, a limit as the amount of steps they are allowed to take. Push through with the odd one. 
Going to struck back over his head. Will he be able to get there? No, he's not. It's going to be four more. Good strike there. So that's six after three deliveries. It's a good slug. Very, very good slug. Smart batting. He knew he premeditated a slower one. And Bravo bowled it and right into the slot. Correct, he was. He premeditated and was correct. Straight onto the northern side, into the refinery area. Making it look very easy. Single wicket competition. Marish is in the first six. I'm sure he's not going to be on a slow one this time. Good, good smart bowling into the legs of the hunger. And this is why Bravo has gotten so many wickets. Oh, completely misjudged and going for four. What type of feeling is that? Probably two. Why not? How about four sixes and a four? Yes. All the possibilities yeah, exist. It's possible. Bravo needs to not go any wides, any no balls. That's a very good start. That's a start with a wicket. And so so, so now he is 30. So he needs five sixes to win. Struck. Down to the man at long on. Good feeling coming in there, just one very, very good feeling that realize Try a bit harder, so I'm going to be struck. Oh, for the man along off. Dropped by the supporter there. Six for Richards. Uh, Richards showing his red steel captain why he should have been selected onto the team. Looking for two sixes so far. And a third and now. <laughs> Richards putting on a shot, bit of a show here. here. And this is the man we might remember. This is the man. Took it a bit too late. Yeah. But really, some beautiful sixes there. Call it the cheese. This is going to be just one. Bravo. Oh, and didn't and throw that one away there, but it's a victory for him. A victory for him. For this really yeah. excited semi final between Chris Barneswell of Guyana up against Andre Fletcher from Jamaica. It's Chris Barneswell on the northern side coming up to, to Andre Fletcher who uh, tries to hook on the shot. Hook, take a hook shot, but unfortunately not timing it well, and uh, no run of the first ball. Remember, it's a two overs. Each bowler is expected to bowl. The batsman has to score as many runs as possible. Three dismissal, dismissals are uh, accommodated in this game. After three dismissals, you are totally out of it, and you have to try and score as many runs as possible. The fans were coming up to bowl his third ball. That came off the bottom of the bat, not getting the full blade of the bat on that ball. So, um, three balls going, two runs scored here. So, it's a quiet start here by Fletcher. Mm -hmm. uh, so, the way he has to get back, and if, as you said, if the keeper was quicker, he would have been stumped. And a straight back, drive back down the wicket. Well, it's two, two runs down straight. Shot Beautiful there feeling there, George. Beautiful feeling on the outfield there. It's a great achievement, but Banjo yes. himself is very much aware, as you said earlier on. He has the experience, so let's see what, how Andre Fletcher from Jamaica reacts to him being at this point in time with the first over, what, six runs? What is he going to do now? And there's the second over. Banswell also now readjusting his, his feeling positions, trying to see if he can keep. Andre Fletcher, who he knows, can hit that ball at any part of the ground very forcefully. Right, but there is a lot of room behind the bowler's arm. Uh, oh, oh. That was a slow ball there by yes. Banwell. That is, that is, that is, that is. And bringing it down, yes. Beautiful catch. Very good timing. Very good position. Keeping his eyes on the ball. The outfield fielder 
getting under the ball, taking it into his chest, a well taken catch, George. Trizzle comes across the ground once more. So, very intelligent bowling here from, from Van Rijf, you know, holding back here with that ball, <laughs> forcing um, Fletcher to commit into the shot, but the and ball is, ends up. And this is certainly not looking like the Fletcher of before, huh? He, he's having great difficulty he's he's dispatching getting, the yes, ball. Yes, yes. Two. Nine. It's one listener, sir. Thus far. And we cut, we I, caught, think, I think I think Manuel after losing out last year will want yes. to come back here and okay. really yes. and, uh, and he's gonna take another one there. He's gonna be quick with it. He's gonna be run out. Yes he is he's out. He's out. He is out. And this the second dismissal, George. So he's two dismissal, only one more he has, and this what about two, three more balls? I bounce so well in the second runs. over. My goodness, this is I think, not there, I think there is two more balls in What we in expect of Fletcher in this the semi-final, which we thought would be... bowling by uh, Banswell. Mm -hmm. He changes on that hand. And he's going to try and he's going to be... Is he going to be run out again? He's going to be run out again, George. Well, he had no other <laughs> Why? choice there. Why? Was it really necessary? It's like, you know, you literally went to the slaughter. This is not the pressure we saw. Uh, no, certainly. I mean, it made life a lot easier for Banswell. There's nothing really to defend here. Five runs? Interesting here. Um, Nathan Stewart is still in with the mix. But you know, George, looking at the preliminary games here, Fletcher really in his first game defeated Emran Khan 13 runs to 11. And then his third game, Fletcher, Nara, Diona Ryan, 14 runs to 11. So it really, ha he had difficulty in scoring runs. It's 28 against Navin Stewart was the highest. And then really taking an all-time low, dipping to about four runs in this semi-final. And let's see what happens now with Banswell as he prepares. <laughs> And Andre Fletcher literally gave him a cruiser with that one. Bowling the ball rather slow. And, that's that's going to be end of, I think. And, uh, yes, oh, on top of the Petrol Train Sports well, Club. Well, I was just one ball short because I said in two. But you could have seen. But he got it in two. That's the second one. Okay, yeah. I wasn't so you were attention. correct, yes. Um, I looked at um, Barrel. Barrel from the outskirts knew that ball was going for six yes. because as soon as he hit it, he started he walking. Out. But I so, think also Andre recognizing four runs was not going to be of any semblance of sense to defend. I think, I think both Banwell and, and Fletcher observed that and that's why the history uh, finished that first. Oh no. Uh, I'm looking at um, I'm looking at the body language of oh. Lewis. Yes, I mean he, he is there's no so spin or turn. Like he is just coming up and he's just sending up the balls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I get that feeling yes. too. I don't know. Maybe but, but if so far, so he's having difficulty to put it away. Yeah. Nice. And Stuart is stumped. Yes. Yes. Stumped. That's one dismissal. So maybe uh, it's paying off for Irv. He's on two Irv. runs. Hi. What a heavily struck ball there. Umpire had to definitely get out of the way for um, making a duck there out of the way. Very heavily struck. Straight down to uh, the non batsman wicket. And going over the boundary for four. What? From a score? As Lewis again from the final one. Do it there. Not get it on. The score. Literally, the feelers just stood still, George. Yes. Even though it's a maximum, they did not even move. 
Is it that they had already decided that it would be over the boundary? Lois readjusting his feel as he comes up to Stuart and he's fully flighting that one and it's going to be caught, is it? Just one drop in front of the long off of fielder on the outfield. In comparison with the guys who have not tapped in our side yet. That is going That's to be four. four. Yes. Okay. So hitting it very, very, very hammering it onto the extra cover side. And uh, unless Lewis uh, changes the flight of his uh, spin bowling, then he's going to be clubbered at every given time. Now he comes down the and, <laughs> and uh, uh, comically enough, uh, the non batsman runner dropping his bat. So he had to take it really evasive action. So at this point in time, we have uh, 16, 16 runs. Still uh, not a highly competitive one, but Stuart, a hard hitter of the ball. Let's see what happens now as Ruben moves up to him. And he's going to be, it's is he going to be? Six oh, runs. it's six runs. So he's really opening up his hand now, getting under it, lifting it over the outfield player here and the, and the uh, off leg. Comes down the wicket again and hits, and it's going to be most likely another six. Another six. It goes straight into the boundary. Over the boundary, and uh, um, I think um, Lois, if he's not careful, the game could be slipping away from him here. These sixes by Stuart. Experience of Stuart in almost every given. And he comes down the wicket and swings, didn't con make contact as expected, unable to score. Of Lois again here. Mm -hmm. Lois goes up and he changes the pace of the ball, uh, ball at this time. A faster one brings us to the end, and in this time it seems as almost like 29. So Lois has two or three runs to win. When he comes back, when you have to come up against a bowler such like Stuart, we have seen Stuart in the tournament thus far, uh, creating some difficult moments for the top, for the top batsmen. So Stuart will be coming from the primary end. Uh, Six hundred US. Six six something. Right now, our spectators will So it's going to be Stuart coming in to Evan Lewis, coming in from the Actually, end from the festival sports club there. And uh, Lewis receives the tournament. So he's using all the experience here yes. against Lewis as he comes into the ball. And uh, that is a huge six. And it, it's a maximum. Straight over the long off, really and truly making making it look quite easy. What a shot it was in the meat of the bat, going straight over into the northeastern stands of the in-house area here, right in the Petrotrin Sports Club. Gargara Park right here, single wicket cricket. Just about 15 minutes after the 10 p.m. hour. Lining up again, Stuart coming up in his medium pace towards Irving Lewis. That ball could have to connect. Uh, Feeling so again. On the outfield, is it going to go to four? It has. And oh, this is going to be painful. 
Yeah, so I, 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 think, I think the feeling is the one that dominates in this in entire tournament. Yeah. Yeah, very inconsistent. That's really good for the, yeah. the, the players. Yeah. One wonders if they were better feeling the than the results the yes. in the game, game would have been closer. Yeah. Yes. He swings again um, mightily uh, on the long offside over maximum numbers. Six it is to Irving Lewis. And he's gone up to 16 runs and still the first over is in progress. Uh, this is not looking too good for Stewart. But it's all part of the single wicket cricket competition. Anything can happen. Still three dismissals, three dismissals or at least one out of the three can change the picture of things. But it's 16 runs now for Irving Lewis. A dismissal also causes deduction. And also, you put yourself at a greater risk. Stuart now deciding what should he do. He's still coming up in medium pace towards Irving U U Wing, Lois as he prepares. Oh no, and he's going to carry straight over this time. It's another maximum one. Six runs. It's four, it's four. This time it's four. It's four, it's four. Four runs, unfortunately, on carrying. Four runs, so therefore he got two sixes, one four, 20 runs. In the first over, George, what do you think of the bowling of well, Stuart in this? Well, Stuart is not effective as what we saw in the previous Earlier rounds. Yes, he is giving um, Lewis a bit too much of width. Yes. Dropping the ball a bit too short. Yes. Giving the batsman enough time to get in the best position, to react to the shot, and certainly. Evan Lewis has taken advantage of that. What is Narvin Stewart going to do now? He's readjusting his feelers. He has six more balls. He has to try and prevent Irvin Lewis from scoring the next 10 runs to win this one. It's going to be quite interesting here. As Stewart goes up, coming from the southern side towards and will even swings this one. It's going to go for four. One bounce straight into uh, over the boundary. Six runs, is it? Okay, six runs, is it? And he is very close. We're looking at the signal. And the referee indicates. Okay. It's four. It's four runs. Yes. I would have thought it would have been four. One bounce into the. Over the boundary. So Lois now is on 24, George. Six runs away from uh, reaching short of the final. Five more balls for Stewart. Five, uh, six more runs to score. Let's see what happens here. He swings again. Uh, he's, and it's coming, is it coming towards us? George? <laughs> George. <laughs> the ball disappeared, George. <laughs> You weren't concerned where it was going? <laughs> well, that was... Uh, I think that That's was the long, end of it. I think that was the longest six for the <laughs> tournament. Uh -huh. Aye, the ball. George, you didn't think the ball was coming here? <laughs> that was the biggest six for the night. It fell. It went straight over. He made easy. Why? But um, it was awesome button by... By Irving Lewis. Evan Lewis. Awesome button. Right, go. What? There is the over that is cool when the games are tied. Yes. Right? So it's gonna be it's gonna be as a interesting. Um, very, very interesting. Having gone through the entire preliminary rounds with two overs, 12 balls, now we have six balls, except white or no balls, except um, dismissals, then it makes it even more intriguing. If Evan Lewis continues with the momentum, with the shots that he made earlier on, um, in this case against Navin Stewart, it's going to be very difficult to stop him. Then Barnswell is very... A very, very shrewd. And you just have six Yes. 
I'm a bit scared with Evan Lewis and his bowling because he spins the ball, or at least he, he bowls the bowling, but as far as the flight of the ball and the turn of the ball, I'm not sure to what degree he's successful in it, but I'm seeing, based on his batting ability, he's able to get, get the ball either to the boundary or over the boundary. In this case, Banswell is a stronger in the bowling bowling area. So let's see what's happening here. Six balls for each batsman. Slight drizzle that cause a bit consistent, assistant. Covers came on, they're now off. And now we have the outfield players. Slippery, yes. Let's see now what Banswell does with his fielders. Alright, so he still has four on the inside. Um, to one long off, one long off, long on, long off, cover. Gully, mid off, third man. It's quite interesting here. No one on the. He swings and he's carrying a full sh ball. Uh, Is it, it just. It's, it's it four runs just inside the bong here. Inside. So the first of his six balls he faced. One shot, bouncing twice, going over the boundary line. It's four runs. Ah. Will he be able to continue to give Banswell? Let's see what happens now. Banswell bowling from the northern side up to Lewis and he swings again. Is he going to make an, Is he going to be out? And, uh, yes. Brilliant. <laughs> and this time around, the fielder got it right. Moving about five meters towards the ball in flight. At and really kicking a very fine catch it is. Wonderful feeling at the outfield there. Four more balls, so, four well, runs. Yeah, one dismissal, yes. one run. One run. My goodness. He goes after it at the third ball and this one got the maximum. Straight into the car park. Aye, that dismissal, one wonders if it will affect him. But six and one now, seven, with three more balls. Three more balls and the seven run score. What can Evan Lois do with his three balls? Let's see. As Answell uh, fourth if delivery. If continues in that form, there definitely the police will have to leave before time because the time they take to retrieve the ball, it's more than up on a level. And is it going to be a wide? Yes, it is a wide. So Good. it's an extra. That ball is it? Oh, right. That's how wide we're not going to see. So one run, one. Actually, and he hooks again, and it's going to go straight over. Chirena scamping away from that. Again, we see how safe it, uh, unsafe it can be. Six it is for maximum. Fourteen runs. And carries him straight to fourteen. Twelve. Really. Last ball. He's not, doing, here. He's not doing himself well. That's a shot. It is going, going, shot. going, 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 and oh and no, he's out. Hi. So it's what nine. So my goodness. So is going to have it very easy here. Yes, yes, yes. With one over, six balls, nine runs. Except Ebbing is making some brilliant. Powerful shots, but unable to get it over to the boundary line. And the last ball, dismissal. It is not a competitive one, but in single wicket cricket, anything happens, anything goes. Let's see if Irving Lois can defend that nine runs. You remember in the, in, the, in the first in the finals when Fletcher made four. It took Banwell two balls yes. to win. Yes. Oh, he has nine runs. Yes. I'm, I'm looking at three balls. Three balls. Yes. Banwell 
Well, we have, the we are coming down to the end of the, a very long day afternoon, but I think that um, you must have enjoyed um, this, this cricket for the first time, being part of it, you know, um, seeing it live. You know, what's your thoughts as we await uh, Lewis from the final end? Very but, um, intriguing. Very mysterious at times. Yes. Very uncertain at times. Yeah. Um, you never know what could happen yes. by the batsman, yeah. the bowler, and in particular with the feelers. Yes, it's all part of the excitement. Ah, no. <laughs> ah, swing and a miss there by Roger. <laughs> so it's nine uh, runs and five <laughs> balls. <laughs> so maybe one, one, one dot ball again, maybe. Um, oh, is it? Oh, easy. On the other side, for So five, five runs, five runs. And that is my concern with, with um, Evan Lewis and the bowling. Unless he can get that ball directly up on Barnswell and choke him, limiting with space, it's going to be very difficult to get, uh, very easy for him to, to put him away. He has to be able to, to, to fly that ball, and when it falls, he has to be able to turn it. Otherwise, uh, this is what will happen. And yes. that's it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I said it in three. In three, and you got it in two. Oh, so, you got it in three. You got yes. it in three. Yes. You got it in three. <laughs> so, as we come to the end of the Caribbean Single Wicket 2015 tournament, uh, the chaplain has been crowned. Uh, Christopher Bangwell, we want to take this opportunity to thank the viewers who will be staying with us to view this coverage. We want to thank the cameraman, we want to thank you, Louis, for being here with us. Uh, your closing comments? Certainly, thank you very much, um, George, Madison, and uh, Axe TV, for giving me the opportunity to do the in house commentary with you. Um, first experience with it, for it, and by it. Very entertaining. Very mysterious, uh, very exciting, right? A crowd that was very appreciative of the cricket being done. But at the end of it, it could have been anybody's uh, game, the bowler as well as the batsman. I think all the uh, persons who came on board needed to be commended for their efforts. But at the end of it, Barnswell stood tall and he must be commended for being declared the 2015 uh, single wicket. And with, that we, and with that, we say good night from the Gakara Park and we say be safe.